Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This time as you can see it's the upcoming uh, Street Fighter 6 which we are all very excited about here at Godzilla. But one man, if the legend who got to play a very good chunk of it is Mr. Adam Cook who's joining me right now mate. How are you doing? I'm very good mate, yourself? Yeah, yeah, not too bad. Now you're going to talk about a couple of things. Um, one thing I want to start with because when you kind of mentioned this to me I kind of blew my mind because I wasn't expecting it. So huh. if we can dive into World Tour. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I was wondering if you were going to ask this to start with. This is the weirdest thing I've seen in the game so far, and, and that's, mm. that's saying a lot. So World Tour is the what I would describe as like the single-player campaign of Street Fighter Six. Okay. Now, there is a demo available where you can get a glimpse and you know, have a look at the start of it. And what this involves is you, you, you create a avatar you know your character uh in, the, in our sean created sean zilla who looked a bit like mike Hagar, and <laughs> you are then you are then let loose in an open world like <laughs> like i don't want to because obviously we didn't play all of it we played no. like a couple of chapters and a little bit i think of the third chapter yeah it's basically a yakuza game I'm like, oh, I feel crazy word. saying that, but it was like the more we played of it, the more it was like, yeah, this. So you, mm. you, like, so you start out and you've got your basic moves, and you're wandering around this open world in a 3D environment, like in a Yakuza game. And there's Easter eggs everywhere, by the way, for fans of Street Fighter Six. Like Sean was stopping, going, "Oh, look at that! Look at that!" You know, it's constantly, yeah. You know, think Times Square billboards, and you know, you'll see some of it in the video, I'm sure. Yeah, and. You start off, and like in the first chapter, you're talking to one of the Street Fighter characters, and you sort of become their apprentice and can take on their skills. And then after that, like in chapter two, you become the apprentice to Chun Li, and you take on her skills, like the spinning bird kick. And <laughs> so while you're doing all of this, you can just run around and walk up to people and be like, "Hey, let's fight." A bit, a, a bit again, a bit like Yakuza, but rather than them aggroing you, although some do, you can sort of yeah. aggro them. <laughs> but the way you do this, like, you can just go up to them, and start fighting them, or you can just do, like, do a special move on them. So there was one moment, and like, I shouldn't laugh, but it was incredibly funny. Sean just walked up to an old granny, like, and did a spinning <laughs> bird kick to start the fight and when you get into the fight like that she's already taken some damage because you've spinning bird kicked her and you're leveling up via these fights so it transitions into a street street fighter 6 battle you know like a fight a yeah. traditional fighting game like street fighter and then yeah. tr transitions back out into this 3d open world and i would love to be able even then i would be able to, i would i think if i just said and that's that i think it would still be kind of like what yeah, but they've kind of gone even further with it. So you can like go up a ladder, and because like you're spin I keep using spinning bird kick because obviously we played a chunk of it in the Chun Li chapter, and I also keep using that because as an example, I think everyone watching this will probably know. You know, she she jumps up in the air, does a spin upside down kick, and tr goes across the screen. So you can do that to get to inaccessible places. Ooh. So you can be on one side of a street on top of a canopy that you've climbed up on a ladder and then spinning bird kick across the street to a canopy that hasn't got a ladder that you otherwise couldn't reach. So it's kind of like a Metroidvania as well. <laughs> My God. And on top of that, once you you, know, you unlock, like you say, you unlock Chun-Li's movesets, but you also unlock their, their, their battle styles. So you can create like Sean did this, and you'll see it in the video, this massive Hagar, you know, like Zangief-style huge fighter that all of a sudden has all the mannerisms of Chun-Li and is like this dainty kind of, um, kind of like Muhammad Ali, I think, you know, like, fight, you know, like a, a, a bee sort of, you know, like yeah, buzzing like around. Fly, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's so bizarre to see basically like a Zangief character, but with Chun-Li's moveset. But beyond that, you can customise your character like so you can actually create in theory i think and if i'm wrong i mean i don't know because we didn't play anymore but i think you could create a character that like say because you can you can equip move sets like each move to a you know different buttons and stuff so you could in theory create a fighter that can do like a dragon punch but also a spinning pile driver in theory oh, jesus and this is all set in this yakuza world and 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 it's just it it 
Sean said it on the day to me that it reminded him of like a Dreamcast game. You know that era of where games were just so weird and and, and yeah, army, yeah. like yeah. And it and it's obviously it looks great. Um, I I so like anyone I, I've I've heard a lot of people say yes, yeah, sort of Street Fighter Six. It looks great, but it's kind of I'm just not into fighting games. If you're into Yakuza games, I would say grab this demo and just see if it lights a fire because like. I, I, when we when we got invited to it, it's like that seems like a long time. Street Fighter, it's a fighting game. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, we loved it last time, so it's like, yeah, we'll go and play it again. But now, now I see it, it's like, oh, this is, yeah. this could be lengthy. This is this, you know, I don't know. This could be. It's very impressive. Like it just, it doesn't need to be there, but it's almost like they've taken the feedback of five, where they people like this game launched with nothing, and they've gone, okay, noted. Mm. And so we put like a Yakuza game in our Street Fighter. I, I, like I say, time will tell. Playing the whole thing, if it if it runs out, you know, of steam a bit, or if it just keeps going. But I mean, it seems like you're just going to keep unlocking new people to be apprenticed to. So was there was there any mention of like taking your character online? No, and that's what I'm really intrigued about because even if it was a separate mode, like you, mm. so in other words, you can't do like Sean Zilla versus Ken, and unless mm. it's a custom match, I w- I would love it. Yeah, if you could nice. do that, like you, so you'd have all these. Because once you have, everyone's completed the game, it really is about you creating your character. So it's about your preference. Yeah. So it would be so interesting. But no, I don't know. I I I wonder yeah. the same thing. No, if I'm honest with yeah, you. no would. Yeah, you but played yeah, some. You played, you played some other stuff. So the extreme battle side of things. What what what's that? <laughs> and what's that a part of? And so again, like this doesn't need to be that. I can't. I I'm gonna sound like a, just a raving fanboy, man, because I cannot get over what they've put in this game. So extreme battle. Now that. To you and I, I think I don't know if this will analogy will work for everyone, but you know when they started adding like no rules modes to FIFA, and you mm. could do like kick off and like you could no fouls that sort of thing. Yeah, it's it's that. So for example, there is one mode that is called rules and regulations. Okay. Yeah. And in that mode, each per- <laughs> each person fighting in this one v one match will have items appear in the top of the screen just before you fight, and it will tell you. You need to do these. So, for example, one of the one of the videos we're playing is Cami. You'll see it. Cami has to do two throws, three special moves, two jumping attacks, and one drive impact. And if you do those, you win the fight. There's no health bar. Okay, so it's about that. But that's just one example. There are other versions of Extreme Battle where there's like a little robot ball rolling around that if you hit it into your opponent, you can sap health but get health back. Stuff like this. There is one... I'm forgetting the name, but it does away with health bars, and there's just one giant health bar, okay? And it's like um, it's like a tug of war. So as you attack, your health bar fills over theirs, so it's like red to blue, and moving back and forth, so it's like a constant flux of you have to basically get the health bar all the way to the end. Mm. And I was, again, thinking about that on an on- online perspective, thinking imagine two like really good players. The match could go forever. Like, you yeah. could just keep going, you know, like... it. <laughs> there's 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 like environmental hazards like a bull will just run through the battle during these and you have to dodge it and it can hit your you know your opponent um heaven and hell like various effects that happen at various times so again like one of the ones we played is cami so jumps are disabled for you you can't jump anymore you can do special moves like a, if, you, if you were ryu you could do a you know dragon punch and it would get you in the mm. air but yeah. you press jump and nothing happens but on the other hand your opponent might have a, bu- a buff to attack, but a permanent burnout. So each one, each person has an, has an up and a down, you know, buff and a, and a debuff. And it just, uh, you know, like dash can be disabled or special moves can be disabled. And these these various sort of modes that I'm talking about can all be mixed and matched. So there are rules. So like for example, heaven and hell, like I mentioned, or rules and regulations. That's a rule, but like bull run is a gimmick which is the other thing you pick so you pick a rule and you pick a gimmick and like bull run means a bull will stampede stampede through the stage now you can go pick a rule and pick no gimmick or pick a normal battle with a gimmick so there's all this variation like it's just ridiculous it just sounds like it's going to be a big game i think you know i think why why it's also exciting and and why is a disappointment from the release of Street Fighter Five, and seeing Could be. how much effort they've put into making this as full a game as it sounds at the minute, you know, 
and it, I mean, it looks incredible. Yeah, I mean, that's I've not really mentioned the fighting itself or the looks because we've already previewed it once and we yeah, were already yeah. pretty much on board with how it looked then and it's not got it just looks still as good you know and yeah exactly it, people, it still people plays watching fantastically the video see it right now yeah so. this is it, exactly that the only other thing i did want to just briefly touch upon is the practice mode because there is what they call a character guide in a combo trial and what i was impressed with is these is instead of having just like a move set where it's like just do this combo mm. like, like most games yeah, do yeah yeah they've gone all the way with this and it sort of teaches you how to play it. And I know that sounds right. weird, but it, it no, teaches it you when is the right time to do things, how you execute things into another... It, it mm. breaks them down for you in a way... You you know, you and I have played fighting games for years. We probably don't need mm. these things. But it, it, it's really interesting to see that broken down so that people who are new to it can properly not just oh right okay i worked out how to do a dragon punch but understand how and when and why and it just again this is a preview i haven't played the full version i don't know if there's things we haven't seen yet i don't know that you know we were only allowed to play certain like combo trial as cami sort of thing we were only allowed to because we don't want you know obviously people would just have captured everything and shown everything before the game comes out but it's just interesting. It's so... I mean, I am so looking forward to playing the final version of this. Like, I was anyway. I was anyway, but, like, the, the extreme battle thing means that even if, for some reason, you got a little bit bored of just a standard 1v1, you've got all these alternatives. Yeah. And, like I say, World Tour is like... It, they, they probably could have just released that as a game. It's it's that seems... You know, you, you we were playing with fight sticks for the rest of it, but with that, you play with a controller because it's a 3D world and... Mm. Yeah, Street Fighter Six, man. Uh, I if you were even those who are like, hmm, not my thing. I think keep an eye, really keep an eye on that game. Amazing, yeah. brilliant. Well, you can go and read uh, the full preview on GodIsAGeek.com. Um, you can also subscribe to us on Patreon at patreoncom forward slash GodIsAGeek, where there's always stuff going off there. It's a private uh, Discord server. We've got the podcast get streamed live early. Um, whole manner of things um, but as always if you'd like to subscribe to our youtube channel click the bell button like whatever you need to do um, you can do that and adam thanks for joining me to talk about this uh, street fighter 6 today cheers mate and uh, thank you all for watching take care bye bye